Hi guys, my name is Dr. Bongsai and you're welcome to my channel where we talk about health and fitness. Today we are going to be talking about typhoid infection and its common misconception among the general population. Doctor, I have fever, I have headache, I have watches too, I have diarrhea, I have abdominal pain. What is happening? I think I have typhoid. No, you do not have typhoid and here's why. Typhoid infections are actually, there are two types of typhoid infections, namely the typhoid fever and salmonellosis. Typhoid fever is a more severe and serious form of the infection and occurs in very rare cases. Typically, patients will present with very frank, high fever, very marked abdominal pain on physical examination. The patient can have bloody stools, can have the reddish spots on the abdomen and the chest called the whole spots. The patient could even be unconscious or it could be in delirium. And it's relatively very severe and therefore it's, it's actually very rare to come by. Now the other form called salmonellosis is also is much more common if I can put it this way and it's caused by a different strand of the salmonella type uh, bacteria strains and it's, it happens in the general population much more common than the other than the other form which is the typhoid fever. Now this is the form that is usually confused in the general population where everybody just says that I have typhoid. It's true. Typhoid infections can cause much stools, it can cause diarrhea, it can cause vomiting and all of this. But it's not the most common cause of this presentation. Patients presenting typically with much stools, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, abdominal pain, fever. Normally they will have a myriad of other sources, other causes of this um, sort of presentation. And first of all, you have to know that the most common cause of much stools is viruses, both in adults and in children. And even when we're talking about bacteria, we have E. coli, we have the bacteria, we have a long list of bacteria that come before the that salmonella typhus strain that causes salmonellosis. So it's not automatic that whenever you present or whenever you have watches to, whenever you have vomiting, whenever you have fever, you have diarrhea. And of course, another cause of this presentation could be malaria. And yes, malaria can cause vomiting. Yes, malaria can cause diarrhea. Yes, malaria can cause all of this symptoms that come and people just conclude that no, that we have typhoid and then they go on taking a whole lot of concoctions because there's this misconception also that hospitals don't treat typhoid and therefore people go and take a whole lot of concoctions at home which are very very dangerous so yes you can have typhoid infections which present typical levels but i'm saying that having this sort of presentation salmonella typhoid is not the most important. Thank you.